very beardy. I know that could be construed well, as something else, free, but, now but my no, he's beardy. His wife is nowhere to be found. A mad scientist is hunting her for who knows what reason, and the legendary voodoo sponge that was supposed to cure her is turned out lady. to be useless. Under normal Maybe circumstances, I'd ask the voodoo lady for help, but she's sitting in the jail cell next to my arch enemy, who may or may not be my best friend. After it's been revealed that she has been the secret power behind most of my travails over most of my life as a pirate, Maybe I should have been a beekeeper like my uncle Sid. Either that or master of exposition, you seem to be, you know. Very talented in that. Voodoo lady, you. got a question Hello, for you. Treepwood. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, La Esponja Grande isn't doing much. You sent me a wild chase for La Esponja Grande and promised me it would cure the pox. But after fending off sexually ambiguous merpeople, a giant manatee, and your crazy ex-boyfriend, what do I get for my trouble? This sorry excuse for a kitchen sponge. La Esponja. Ah, I noticed you strategically left out the grande from this worthless piece of junk. Yeah. Once it cured my kidney you know, leftover pox, yeah. it didn't have enough mojo left to cure Elaine. It's not worthless. <coughs> it is merely young. It must be brought to maturity in order to reach its voodoo absorbing potential. Aha. Uh -huh. So not that's how maturity. we do it. How am I supposed to do that? Give it a talk about the sponge birds and sponge bees? Like all I'd infants, love to see that talk. my sponge needs nourishment. It must be fed six special voodoo courses to bring it to adult size. What and sort of I assume you that? have the meal already. A feast for the senses. Ew. The menu, Treepwood. A uh, scorpion, it, okay. And served a sponge a meal unlike any other. And then it will grow. Hey, neat. There's a map of the yeah, flotsam jungle on the cover. No more listening to bees and birds and boars for this mighty pirate. Hmm. Alrighty, Feast for the Sessences. Uh, first court, put a napkin. That's a sight, a garish cloth, grotesquely bright. Oh, I know where to get a good cloth. Oh, the second course, antipasta jungle meat. Uh, gives off a smell like stinky feet. Third course, before the main course, cleanse your palate with a taste that hits you like a mallet. I know where to get that one, uh, which we'll do later. The fourth course, the main course, will cause quite a flap. To find the sixth sense, use your map. Okay. Fifth course. Now engorge a small dessert, a touch so shocking it might hurt. Sixth course. Your meal finished, let out a cheer, or belch so loud that all can hear. Okay. Well, that's odd. Yeah, we can refold the map. It's like a whole new map now. Yes, it is. Which we will get to later. For now, let's introduce... Let's see, let's talk to Mr. Stan. Stan. Three foot. Ha -ha. No hard feelings over all those various civil and <coughs> criminal charges? Water under the bridge. Exactly, Great. since you are always such a help to me. talking shyster slash salesman dangling from it. Ooh. Fun fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Can I have your jacket? I don't suppose you'd be willing to sell me your eye-bending jacket. Give up my jacket? It'd be like Samson getting a buzz cut, or King Arthur losing Excalibur, or Bluebeard dying himself blonde. Huh? Without my jacket, my salesman Mojo would wither away faster than a hothouse orchid in a pizza oven. So, that's a maybe? Maybe not. Uh, and he's got some new souvenirs. Not really worried about that, though. Well, oh, maybe those. What are they? I'm not sure. Honestly, you've got some new what souvenirs. What souvenirs could you possibly be making out of the Voodoo Lady and LeChuck? Oh, ye of little faith! Feast your eyes on the all-new people! Yep, yep, yep. Uh, ask about the pin. What's this? That's a little decorative pin I've whipped up. Trial of the Century 2. Electric Voodoo. We're still working. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't really need anything else. Say no. Uh, come on, give me sure your jacket. You don't want to sell me I your people it. defying jacket? It's for a good cause. It this is. This jacket stays with Stan until it literally falls off my back. Ah, uh, yes, I need to get. Oh God, where do I get those again? Uh. Yeah, you'll see what I need to get later. For now, into the... No, into the club. That lamp is leaking no, oil. No. No, just... Oh. Okay. To the club. Come on, to the club. Now we get to introduce... Da -da 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 -da. Over here, over here, over here... The Pepper! Ugu Jalokia. Seems pretty harmless. Alrighty. Let's take the pepper check. Are you checking. pirate enough to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? I believe I am. Haha. -ha. 
WP. Hey, WP. Tell me about this Fugu Jalukia this challenge. Fugu Jalukia challenge. Ah, a connoisseur of peculiar culinary delights, are we? Yes, I am. Um, yes? Then you surely have heard of the Fugu Jalokia. The oh, that Fugu... I Maybe. acquired that specimen of the Fugu pepper many uh. years ago from a three-legged bandit named Ort. Winning it from him when I was able to place me tongue on the pepper for <coughs> ten entire seconds. How eccentric. Since that tongue-destroying day, I vowed to pass on the pepper to the first pirate who can successfully put his tongue on the Fugu Jalokia for 11 seconds. Uh -oh. Well, hey, I can hold my breath in the water for 10 minutes. I'm sure I could do this. Tally-ho, tally-ho, tally-ho. All right, the Fugu Jalokia. Okay, pepper, prepare to meet your match. Aha. And it even burns by hand. Okay, mental note. The Fugu Jolokia is hot to the touch, too. But hey, I've got an easy solution for that. Fugu Jolokia. Alrighty, which means I need to talk to him again. Oh god, why do they make it so complicated? Hey, why can't they just leave it open? I'd like to take, I'd the, like Fugu to take the Fugu yep. Jolokia challenge. I thought. Whoopee! Yep, yep. Alrighty. It rises up. Whenever. So, come on back over, and, hey, we got a nice little finger-free solution. That's up. Come on, touch it, touch it. You can do it. Ah, now that's using your mighty pirate brain, three point. Aha. <laughs> Maybe not. And he runs to the restroom. Don't even want to know what he's using Ouch. for water. Okay. Well, as you can see, uh, holding my tongue to the Fugu Jalokia is not as easy as it sounds. Ooh, wait, no, no, I didn't want to, I wanted to look at, oh. Ah, yes, that is how I get that portion, but I need that shirt first. Stuff happened. He runs. What was that? Something sure shoved a short sword up his aft sail. Tally ho then! Tally ho, tally ho, tally ho! You do not run fast enough, Guybrush! Move your keister! Ah, oh, gone. Alrighty. Into the door! Open sesame, I walk up the stairs. Ha 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 ha! This is the Frenchman! Ooh. So it's all over the place. Azza! Da da dum. What the? Da da dum. Ooh, yeah, stuff is really all over the place. Morgan. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> Morgan went to get your hand. Oh, <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Had to pay you back for all the trouble. Bonjour. He told me. Wait, you can talk what? to the monkey? He told me. What? What did the monkey tell you? Mm -hmm. What? I couldn't hear you. You mumble when you're dying. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. And close your eyes. Come on, it's proper. Close the eyes. Mm. Desinge. Desinge. She was a good girl. I will get you, Desinge. The poor dead Morgan. Alrighty, well, I can use this curious helmet now. Auto trepanation helmet. Hmm. Let's see, what does this one do? Ow! Ah. What is it? My tongue! My tongue is numb. Oh well, yeah. now you know what I can yeah. do. It's locked. What? Err. Okay, I went to the wrong room. Never mind. Ah, I need to try to pan myself again. Ka chunk. 
And it? yep, my lung is numb again. Okay, let's go to the exit. Tally ho, buddy, tally ho. And my tongue is lost. Sign up in the place. Yay! Alrighty. Now, you probably already guessed what we're going to do with my now numb tongue. So, yeah, you just have to sit back and wait for me to run all this way, which, you know, is, that's mostly this game. A lot of running, and running, and running, and running. Over here, over there, as we hit the dusty trail, as the castles go rolling along. Alrighty, up and over to the... Captain! I like to take the food of the loot of the What's it? that? This is it. You want to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? Yes, I do. Why didn't you say so? Have at it, Captain. Oh, this is probably going to hurt like heck later on. And wow, he's terrible at darts. I'm saying I'm not much better. Uh, of course, I've never really played that much. But alrighty, the pepper. <laughs> I can feel anything. <laughs> oh my god! I don't do that! I don't do that! I don't do that! I don't do that! Well done, Captain Threefoot! You've conquered the Fugu Jalokia and have won the right to keep it as your own! Haha! Uh -huh. Look at clean living in a healthy co. Oh. A healthy co. co uh, what? Okay. Ah, probably aftershocks. got permanent glossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. Yes, it was. Alrighty. Now, let's come up here and talk to him about this thing. What's that artistic abomination? Ah, that be a painting of Flotsam Island's notorious jungle beast, painted by our own Hemlock McGee. But you gotta find Hemlock. out how to get that really? for the... Aye, no one knows more about our legendary be... Yep, yep. So, Hemlock knows about the beast, I can get information from him. Ouch! Yep, yep, pathetic. Running, 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 running over here, run, run, run. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on over to talk to Hemlock McGee. And the screen wall, now wall is all the way out there. Hello, Mr. Hemlock. Hi there, Double Peg. Alrighty. Uh, do 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 do. Yes, I, I must know really about the about jungle beast. Some so-called jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast, but he's the scariest, false, melanous thing you ever didn't see. A dark jungle god that walks the land only by dead of night. Oh hey, guess what? Jungle it god. seems to be eternally dead of night. It was said to live within the stomach of the god of death, feasting upon corpses. Wow. Until one day, death ate some bad shellfish and upchucked the jungle beast into existence. Okay. Ooh. If you haven't seen it, how do you know it exists? Because it eats to appease the beast. We've left many a fleshy sacrifice on the jungle altar. By morning, the meat disappears from the altar without a trace. Uh -huh. Disappearing meat. Yep, jungle god's the only explanation. Of course. Alrighty, well now I must go. See you later. See I have all the information I need from that.